Welcome to the Katie Lake flag tying segment. I'm going to tie two flies. I'm going to tie a coronamid and I'm going to tie a CDC coronamid emerger that works very well in the spring and the fall. But first, my coronamid pattern. Beadhead, tungsten, very important. You need that extra weight when you're fishing such long leaders. And I use four pound fluorocarbon, so it helps to have the little extra weight. For the uh, hook, I like to use these C49S's, mustads. Uh, it's a caddis curve, and I like the curve because it has the appearance possibly that the fly is animated a little bit. Um, for the body, for Katie, I like to use this uh, chartreuse kind of clear V-rib. Um, as I said in the show, I don't know why it works at Katie. I've fished it all over, and it seems like it works best at Katie. Uh, when I'm tying coronamids, I like to use mono thread. Uh, it's clear, and it kind of takes on the color of whatever you're using on the body. So I'll wrap this all the way down, almost to the actual bend in the hook. Let's tie this off. Now we need to be able to see too, so I'll put those on. Now when I tie on, normally when we're tying, we have, have a habit of, this is where we start, we wrap it in. Personally, I like to start my V-rib from this side. Because when I cut the tag off, it gives me a smoother cut and I don't have a bump in the back of the body there, which I just drives me crazy. So anyway, wrap this back up. And then, willy being willy, I do my little half hitch here. I like that half hitch. I like to tie off in between uh, steps. Uh, okay, now I just take and... Now, on this V-rib, I'm actually pulling it pretty tight. And... It kind of tapers my body because I kind of loosen it as I go up. And so it's not quite as tight and it kind of fills out and gives me a little bit more of a taper. And I take and I wrap it all the way back into this tungsten head. Trim it. Now we go and trim the back side. Always pull on this V-rib when you go to trim it. Okay. Couple wraps. And because of these uh, uh, bead heads and the way the uh, V-rib goes into and it kind of locks in we don't need to even glue these i never glue these uh flies and i very rarely have them come apart on me david on the other hand uh, he can take one of my flies i can fish it forever david will have it torn up in a day anyway that's it it's just that simple it's a one and a half minute fly even taking your time, it's only a couple minutes. And this fly, as you all know from the video, is killer at Katie Lake. You tie this fly, you go out there, you fish it properly, you will catch fish.